So now we're going to go into the Firepower Management Center, also known as FMC. But before we go into that, I'd like to draw on whiteboard uh, the topology and how the FMC connects to your network. So first, the centerpiece of the FMC is the ASA, which connects to the internet. You have your switch, workstation. and the FMC itself. We have a separated VLAN connection for the inside. And the workstation, which also connects on that same VLAN. We have a dedicated connection for management between the ASA and the switch, and on the same VLAN, the FMC. So now going back to the FMC itself, So this is the FMC console that you see when you first open it up through your web browser. The main location I like to go to to look at everything that's going on in my network is the Context Explorer. And the Context Explorer is a centralized hub where you can see traffic flowing through your network and the analysis that FMC provides in an easy to use graphical user interface. As you can see, you can modify your time period for an hour, days, or for the year to help you better uh, understand what's going on. At the top, you see your traffic, and you could analyze any spikes. You might see some spikes and that you might expect, for example, if you have uh, scheduled Windows updates, that would be normal. But if you see some traffic spikes that you didn't expect, you might want to look into that. That could be an indication of a malicious event. Coming down, we have our indications of compromise. So we could see certain IP addresses we may have multiple indications of compromise, meaning that they may have been involved in, in accessing a website that has malware. And in all these graphs, if you hover over, you get more information. And you can click in, and you can drill in as well, get information right from the graphical user interface. Scrolling down, we can see all the operating systems from Mac OS, Linux, Android, Windows. This is useful to see for a system administrator as well, in case you're trying to phase out a certain older version of an operating system, such as Windows XP. You can see if you possibly may have missed one or if there's any that are still active on your network. And again, you could drill into the analysis and see more. You can see traffic by source IP and by user if you have Active Directory integrated into your FMC. So you can see which users are using the most traffic. Scrolling down, you can also see what type of protocols are being used on your network. What I like to look at is uh, client application traffic. And here you can see, for example, which browsers are being used by users. So say you recently implemented a new policy where you asked users not to use Internet Explorer anymore because you know that it uh, has potential for malware. You can see if users are still using it. 
And again, you could see more application information, such as versions of the browsers themselves. Coming down some more, you could see your traffic analyzed comparing to Talos, which is a security intelligence database that Cisco uses. So you can see how safe your connection is according to the, the browsers and the connections being used by your users. Here we can see how many impact events we have. Impact one events would be malicious traffic that has entered your network that, has, um, that was not identified as malicious but still got in. So that will let you know that you need to update your policies. Basically, it gives you greater visibility into your network. And here we can see where, which public IPs are the top attackers. And we can see certain events by priority as well. So if there's certain connection events that Cisco is deemed to be high priority, those are likely events that you should look into. And again, you can drill into any one of these. A tool that I really like here to use is, for example, I want to know what this 224 IP address is. I could click in, I could get an automatic who is instead of having to go on the internet and look it up. So it's nice that that's integrated there. Here we have file information. So for example, if you would like to create a, a rule or a policy that blocks a certain rule, a certain type of file, uh, for example, PDFs or executables, you can see how many are, are being uh, passed through the network. And also it's important, it, it may be useful for you to look at uh, where, which connections are going to which countries. So here you can see it's organized by country and you can drill into these as well. And that has been a short presentation of the Firepower Management Center. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you found this informative.